everyone needs to eat, otherwise you're gonna croak. I mean, that's that's the way you stay alive. But uh, there is also another side. When I'm eating a plate of pasta and I'm smelling the tomato and the basil and, and my mind gets transported somewhere. And that's what food does to me, you know, I mean, is uh, a need that I have, not necessarily just to feed myself, but it's just, uh, it's, it's a need that I have that I have to taste something and it always has to please my palate and the palate gets pleased and then after it gets transformed into the brain and then the brain makes me think so, makes me think of beautiful places and beautiful things and uh, it's just a continuous routine and I, and I can't stop it sometimes. You know, I have to eat chocolate and I have to savor it and I have to really let it go all around my palate. That's how I salivate and it gets so interesting and so delicious, right? You have to taste every single flavor. It's amazing. I mean, it's so satisfying to me, you know. If your body works perfectly, you should be able to eat slowly, enjoy the food. And then as you eat, you get filled because your brain senses it and it tells you, you know, you have to stop, this is enough, right? And that's when you have that little piece of chocolate that comes at the end of the meal and it just tortures you. And you look at arrive and you go like, whoa, okay, I was full until now. What happened? <laughs> Why did they bring me this? Even if you go shopping after you've eaten, you always end up seeing something that you want and you're gonna end up going home, rushing home, opening it up and tasting it and then again, and I'm salivating just as I'm thinking about all of that. Imagine when there is actually real food, you know, <laughs> when you go to the supermarket or your, or your market store or your, I don't know, grocery store or anywhere where they have good food um, or where you perceive it to be a good food because it really doesn't have to be always the, the little farm-made, uh, you know, product that, that comes directly from the cow or whatever. I mean, it can be, it can be even potato chips. You go to the supermarket and you see a new potato chips and it's got, I don't know, a different flavor. I saw guacamole uh, potato chips. I mean, it's like, wow, what's that? And I said, I want to taste that immediately. Maybe I'll buy some avocados and make some fresh guacamole and taste them together. And I've met people that really don't care about food. They just eat simply to stay alive. And I look at them with the biggest puzzled face in, you know, that I can give them because how can you do that? You know, I absolutely have no problem with fast food. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite things is chicken nuggets. Beautifully fried, fresh chicken nuggets from McDonald's. The corn, I don't know, dusting that they put on. When it's freshly fried, it's so delicious to me. I have no problem with that. I, I You know what? So what? It's chicken nuggets, you know. I know the company that produces them. I know they put real chicken in it. <laughs> at least a portion. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. But you know, another one would be, uh, you know, nacho chips and 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 uh, and and cheese. You know, that just that, that cheese in a can over there. You know what I mean? The one that lasts forever on the shelf, but then you have to refrigerate after opening, and in six months you probably got a little mold. That's the one. I enjoy that. I have no problem with that. I'm a fiend for Coca-Cola. I love that stuff. Can't help it. You can't live all day on this, you know. I mean, uh, it's a different world. I mean, we have to enjoy a, a bit of everything. Obviously, exaggerating on any of the points, whether you eat foie gras, caviar, or chicken and nuggets, is the same problem. I think that uh, we worry way too much about staying <laughs> healthy, really. There is, a, there is a reality that we have, that we have to take a reality check, obviously. I mean, I eat too much, I know that. Just by slowing down the, the quantity is what is important. What you eat is important to a certain degree. Obviously, if you eat all day junk food, I mean, hey, you know, the, your body is going to show it. But I believe that uh, the quantity is related to how much work we do. You know, in the past, we used to work this much and eat this much. Now we work this much and eat this much. It's changed. I, to me, it's all about quantity. The goodness of food, yeah, of course. I mean, if you stay local and in season and organic, you're gonna get all of your your beautiful vitamins and all of the nutritional values and everything else. But to me, I get seriously offended when people start talking about uh, taxing extra junk food and all that. Because you know what? When is it gonna stop? You're gonna put extra taxes on wine because uh, you know you might get cirrhosis of the liver. 
I mean, it's like a gamble, man. You know what I mean? Live it alone. People got to enjoy themselves, too. My thing now is really portion control. And I've been doing very well with that. I'm very happy. Very happy. Have you ever tried soda cracker with butter? Oh, my. What a goodness. That's so delicious. Crackers. Sometimes I go home at night after work, and I just sit there, and I just eat crackers. And I let them melt. You know? That's, that's the craziness.